This is Jason with Performax Racing Engines. I wanted to do a quick video to show uh, what we do for pistons and rods that we're going to reuse on a customer build. Uh, some guys get a, an engine from a junkyard, especially 5.3s and 6 liters, and they just want to, they might have a cam, usually what happens is they have a cam bearing issue and they don't know it until they go to crank the thing and then they realize, oh, okay, I've got some problems. That's usually how they wind up over here, usually a short block. That's uh, the case with this one. So what we do is uh, we're, we're gonna put new bearings, new rings in while we have it all tore down. But this is the process that uh, the piston and rod assembly goes through uh, for, for us to clean it. These are press-on pistons, so we're not attempting to remove the piston from the rod. We're gonna leave that on. They start like this whenever they come out of the engine. Usually uh, 150,000, 200,000 mile motors. A lot of times the cylinder walls don't have a lot of wear in them, but these pistons, they normally have a coating on the side. Some of them do, some of them don't. I'm not, I can't tell if these did and it wore off or if they just never had it at all. Maybe they just never had it. Uh, nevertheless, this is how they look whenever they come out of the, out of the engine. It's usually what you see at about 200,000 miles. Uh, we strip the rings off and we run them. First step is we run them through the jet wash. And you can see that gets about, I'd probably say 90% of the stuff. It leaves, maybe you, you'll see a little bit of carbon there. You'll see a lot of carbon in the ring land still. And there's a little bit of wear on the skirt. We'll measure that up. I'll talk about that in a second, what we do for that. The second step of the process is uh, it goes through, also you can see, I mean, this is, like I say, it's a press on piston. I can't, that pin is pretty much froze in the, in between where it's been riding as it's been in the engine. It's got so much carbon down inside the pin, uh, bar, the pin uh, bore of the piston that it's kind of frozen in that place. And the jet wash, you know, same thing. It can't really get down in there and clean all that. And like I showed you, it can't clean the ring lands either. But once they come out of the, once they come out of the, we use a wet blast. It's called a vapor home and it has wet soda. It's a wet soda process. And the reason why we use wet soda is because it's a uh, pretty, it's very easy on the metals, even this, even these aluminum pistons. It doesn't get rid of the machine marks that you'll see on the top of the crown of the piston. It doesn't hurt that. If I dry blasted this, uh, that would that would go away. Uh, also, you have to be real, real mindful of the dimensions of the piston ring lands. These things aren't really flat. So if you go in there with a carbide scraper that and clean that out or if you uh, hit it with a dry blast even glass bead it'll change that dimension a little bit and then i have to worry about contamination of did i get all the glass bead out of this oiling hole is the glass bead is there any glass bead left in here whatsoever and any kind of abrasive material material left is a no-go that's a big deal so you've got to think uh, is it up here in the threads is it here is it there with the with the wet soda we don't have to worry about that uh we just soak it in water and it dissolves all that and it's gone and it you, as you can see it cleans out the the pin bore of the piston i mean that's effortless it also cleans out the ring lands where all that carbon was in there you can see how clean that is every now and then you know you got to get in there and you got to scrape a little bit of um carbon material out of there with the little scraper uh, I just use a a real small pick and I try to just stay localized into that area that needs it that way I don't create any scratches inside here you can see there's you know not really any no dimensional changes have happened inside there because it's just so easy to, on the material it gets the back of the piston and all that good stuff then uh, the next thing we can do is if we have an excessive amount of wear on where people say the pistons are wore out, what they're talking about is this, uh, 
you're talking about the the skirt because this is what controls the piston inside of the this is where the piston is going to be touching the, the cylinder wall uh if you have an excessive amount of you know engines can be noisy they can slap around or it can move around so much that it the the ring isn't able to be controlled inside this ring land so in that case what we do is we uh, use a coating we use a dry film on the top but we have a build-up coating where we can build these skirts up you know you can build them measure the measure your bore see where you want to be on your skirt clearance and then you can you know if you put a thousandths skirt clearance uh, uh, coating on each side build-up coating uh, you've essentially closed up your your skirt clearance by two thousandths so every thousandths you put on this material of material you put on each skirt it shrinks your skirt clearance by two thousandths so we can do that too uh, if you have a, pair, a set of pistons that are expensive and you had to go back and rehome the the block because you put new rings in and and now you have excessive clearance you know then uh you can send those to us we can also on that part we do have to dry blast just this surface here uh, we tape everything else off mask it off we have to chemically etch or not chemically mechanically etch this so that it has some bite in it and that the coating will actually stick uh, then we bake it on we can also do thermal coatings on the crowns uh, that's good for efficiency it's also good if you're going to be running a uh, nitrous we don't recommend nitrous on a cast piston but there's plenty of guys out there doing it and if you're going to do that i would highly recommend a thermal coating on the crown to help protect uh, from detonation and things like that uh, anyway if you have any questions give us a call the number here at the shop is 817-657-4407 you can find us on facebook on instagram and we also have a website at performaxracing.com Thanks.